Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the new Scream Fortress 2 update. If you haven't seen my first part, go ahead and check it out. This is the second part, probably going to be the last, I'm not really sure just yet. I'm kind of losing my touch with the new map because I played it for so long, and it's not its not as good as it seems after a while. You know, and as soon as you get the hat, there's no real point in doing it after a while because nobody wants to play King of the Hill on that map, even though it's ridiculously fun. But of course, uncreating a new pile, I know a lot of people have been a lot of problems with that, but of course... Four times the sexy with medic. I mean, that's just the best thing I've ever found. Unfortunately, though, it does only last until the end of the update. But let's just see how sexy four times is. Apparently, it also makes medic's voice 130 times more spookier. That is just too spooky for me. I'm very sorry. There's sort of things like that that happen that just are too spooky for me, and they make me not want to play. But you know what really does make me not want to play Medic at all? Is when you're actually the guy delivering the crits to everybody, making the team effort of Team Fortress, and there's enough problems being Medic in general, and in general Team Fortress too, but when this kind of a thing starts happening to you, and you get, you get starting to get clubbed by a scout from behind, and you're about to retaliate, you kind of get blown up. And you know what else kind of happens? You kind of get shot by Crockett's of a black box, just because you're being a sexy Medic. I guess these guys just don't appreciate my sexiness, so I switched over to Huntsman Sniper to be the only smart person on the team. And yes, Merasmus is still a butt. I know I already have the hat, but I wanted to help everybody else get the new hat because, hey, it's probably going to be the new Gibbous, right? Of course, there's no mercy, though. Anyways, though, I don't think Valverly really cares that Merasmus is difficult. I don't think they wanted him to be easy. And this, you know, really reminds me of is actually is fighting Mephisto in Diablo 2, trying to get better items. I don't know, maybe that's just because I like Diablo 2 and Diablo 3's to pile of poopy and that's just how I feel. But of course, finally killing him again, helping all the new people get the new hat because it's so important. And thankfully there was no that guy on this time going through and actually killing everybody, of course, on this run. And of course, getting a brand new present in this pyro is almost trying to deny me that and my candy bar. He is just, he's just that pyro. And it is the spectral paint you can craft onto any hat and make it change color. So I put it on the Killer's Kabuto for Soldier and switched over to some Harvest. This is Event Harvest, where the only real big difference is uh, pumpkins that explode. Because I, I guess that makes it Harvest eventful? I don't know these things. I don't know. But anyways, I've been enjoying the new Halloween update. I have no problems with it really, except the team player killing thing when you're trying to kill Merasmus is kind of a problem. I guess the only good thing I can say, even though we're not really watching that gameplay right now, the best strategy I have found is these helpful hints. One, you cannot mini crit Merasmus with Jurati or the buff banner. It is not possible. It does not matter if you do it, and you're not guaranteed to get loot after you kill him. It's just after you die. And that is another thing that's confusing people, saying they don't get the hat after they do it. Well, that's because you have to die in Team Fortress 2 to get items. Hope that clears up a little bit of a, you know, the issues I've been hearing going around lately. The other thing is, Huntsman Sniper, and if you don't have a Huntsman Sniper, Brass Beast Heavy, if you don't have that, go Crits Creek Medic. If you don't have that, I don't know what to tell you. Do, do something. Stand in the corner and give encouragement. Or at least be an engineer and build a dispenser to help the Huntsman Snipers out, because Huntsman Snipers only have, I think, 20 arrows. I don't really know. I don't play Huntsman Sniper that often, so I don't know. But, you know, definitely be helpful. Don't be that guy. And keep enjoying it and keep trying. You're not guaranteed to get it on your very first go. So don't expect to go in there, fight Merasmus. And I love this clip right here, by the way. You just, okay, I'm bleeding. And apparently in Team Fortress 2 land, eating chocolate bars helps you dominate people and also cure internal and external bleeding. So I did play a tiny bit of the old, you know, event from last year. Had a little bit of fun. But uh, here's where I had... <laughs> Kind of a little bit of fun, and I don't know if I already addressed this, I might have. I kind of found another hat, and I almost looked past it because of the color. But that is a very good thing, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. Also, unlocking another thing. I'm not really sure how rare these things are just yet, but if you guys can probably tell me how rare it is, that would be nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the ridiculous ending I put into this bad boy. I like the new haunted text, by the way. I like cayenne or cyan, whatever.